When you think about breast cancer, you rarely think about men, but according to the American Cancer Society, about 2,500 new cases of breast cancer will be diagnosed in men this year, Stella. Yeah, Pat, about 480 men will die from breast cancer. And tonight, I wanna introduce you to one man who was recently diagnosed with breast cancer and his message to others. I was incredibly shocked. Eric Hansen doesn't have a family history of breast cancer and never imagined getting the diagnosis. I was, I was thinking that's what it could have been um, just based on everything I was reading and stuff like that. Um, but I thought, A, like cancer, not me, and especially breast cancer. In late 2016, Hansen had discovered a lump on his right breast. He didn't give it much thought until six months later. I asked my wife Erica to to check it out and right when she checked it out she you could tell that she was concerned. Hansen went to the doctor in May of 2017 he got the unexpected diagnosis invasive ductal carcinoma. The process to beat the disease began but not before some household rules. If you don't come up with rules when you're facing these major medical um, conditions that then the condition gets to set all the rules. So we, we set up some rules um, and the, one of the rules was for every tear that we shed we had to laugh. And I think we did a pretty good job of keeping that. Hansen had a partial mastectomy. Some lymph nodes were removed and six weeks of radiation. Although now cancer free, Hansen is still on medication. About one in 1,000 men are diagnosed with breast cancer. Compare that to one in eight women. Hansen's message to others? I think it's important to, to stay in tune with your body. Um, make sure that if you feel something that's different, bring it up to a, a medical professional, bring it up to a nurse, a doctor. So breast cancer in men is rare, but it does happen. Mm -hmm. And Hansen is now very involved with the American Cancer Society. The Making Strides Walk is this Sunday at Armory Park. You can register at 7. The walk begins at 8 o'clock. And Pat, you are still continuing to raise money yeah. for Real Men Wear Pink. What are we up to now? Uh, I'm at $1,000, but uh, we've got other guys at the station that are doing it as well. We need to continue to support them. One in a 1,000 is still shocking to me. Yeah, it's a, just... It's a, yeah. It puts it in perspective, it though. Really one does. in a thousand and then one in eight for women. So it does happen. Yeah. So follow your gut. Like if you feel something is wrong, yeah, just go get, get it checked, checked out. out. Don't wait six months. Mm -hmm. Get it checked out. I have